You're saying you're our daughter. From the future. Yep, kinda stuck here now. Anybody know what to do? I made a big mistake. This man is hiding in the shadows. You guys beat him. At least you were supposed to. Because the timeline changed. I need to know. In the future, what happens to me? The Flash. All new episodes Tuesday, October 9th on The CW. What is good YouTube, War Stu here with a video on The Flash Season 5. So we're just over three weeks away from The Flash returning to our screens from the summer break. That being it returns in October the 9th. So we are getting close. So the next season of The Flash is looking rather promising from the last two seasons which haven't been as good so if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe for all the flash based videos on this channel so before the video starts i just want to ask you guys a question since seeing as i've been reporting on this channel since the flash season three te well technically season two but properly season three there seems to be absolutely no hype about the flash season five there's not really many people talking about it anywhere do you agree that there's like no hype there's no excitement online about what's coming in Flash Season 5. I mean, considering we're getting a new speedster, we're going to be seeing the future, I presume, and we've got a potential new villain, there seems to be no vibe, no hype, no excitement anywhere about the Flash Season 5. Have people just stopped watching the Flash? Because it is still a very high-rated show, but at the moment, there's literally no hype about it, so it's a bit strange to me. So guys, let me know down below. So let's get into the video. So Grant Gustin has been promoting the show recently, like lots of main stars do for their own shows, as well as Todd Helbin, the show's executive producer. So he had this to say, I don't want people's expectations to go through Ruth, but I really think this could be a very similar to season one in terms of the heart and the humor it had and the scope Grant Gustin told in Sony Weekly. So comparing season five to season one, when season four and three weren't very good, it's gonna be pretty far-fetched because the main issues that people had with The Flash season three and The Flash season four is the villains weren't very good and there was no depth to the overall storyline and it was just all over the place. So I'm very interested to see how the season's gonna pan out based on what Grant had to say. So Todd Helbin had this to say, one thing contributing to this season light-hearted tone is the arrival of Barry and Iris's daughter from the future, Nora, which essentially thrusts parenthood on a couple. They're learning all the lessons new parents learn when their kids grow up. But since she's already an adult, it sort of adds the, to the heightened scenario to all of those decisions, says Todd Helbin. This sounds all good and great. Most Flash fans will love this because Nora Allen is a very promising speedster and she's a new speedster. People on the Flash show love new speedsters. They're all about the speedsters and it's the closest thing we're ever going to get to Bart Allen as I don't feel we're ever going to get Bart Allen and who wouldn't love a futuristic speedster who essentially is Barry's daughter. It's going to be so great when the season starts so from what grant said it's clear that this season is all about building on the flash family for sure so let's continue although there are some chillness between iris and nora the opposite is true of barry and nora's dynamic their dynamic between barry and nora has been a lot of fun to play with nora really looks up to barry and they have a connection right away and she brings out that kind of fun more bubbly side that we don't get to see as much anymore says grant their interactions together have been awesome especially during the crisis on earth x you know the crossover last year which wasn't very good it was very good when she was pretending to be a waiter she was nervous she was shy barry couldn't work it out but obviously he knows that now because it's his daughter that's why she was so nervous and edgy around him so i'm really looking forward to the interactions when we get to finally see him so we are finally getting some details some major in-depth details for the next season's villain so grant had this to say but this is the flash so we know the fun times can't last long, which is due to season five Big Bad Cicada. We learned pretty early on, which shouldn't come as a few shock, that Nora being here actually has something to do with Cicada's arrival, said 
disgusting. This sounds pretty sweet, but from the latest trailer, when Nora said, you were meant to beat him, but obviously they didn't. So it's all connected to the big mistake. We're going to learn more about the villain early on. So it sends out signals that he might not actually be the big bad. You know, like how we had Dr. Alchemy, then Savitar. It could be something similar to that. Clearly, Nora Allen is connected to Cicada. But let me know, guys, in the comment box down below, how is Nora connected to Cicada. So we've got a lot more in depth from the next statement in this Entertainment Weekly article, which I think could be misleading and interesting. Cicada, the show's second non-speedster, big bad. And you know non-speedster villains on this show don't go well with the Flash comic book fans generally. So let's go on. Is unlike any of the show's previous final bosses, mostly due to his unique set of powers that poses a threat to all of Team Flash. He can dampen other meta humans' powers, and we don't know at first how he's able to do that. He's got an edge that no other big bad has ever had. We don't know who he is. He's mysterious. He's just kind of intimidating. Big, scary man that can render pretty much all of these meta human superheroes useless more or less, in a battle, says Grant. He comes on really hard the first time we meet him. So right away, there's an intimidation factor that's through the roof, similar to Zoom. So after Savitar and the Thinker, which were pretty weak villains, you're going to compare him to Zoom, which is arguably one of the best villains we've ever had on this show. And from the description that Grant just gave us, this is a villain that can't really do anything that any other villain couldn't do. I mean, the Thinker literally took powers from everyone Grant loses his speed every single season in the show, so saying that he can dampen Metathuman powers away from people and make him useless is a redundant kind of pointless comment in my opinion, and I just feel like this is a marketing PR stunt to try and sell you the season because Zoom was absolutely savage. He killed everyone in sight. He was so intimidating, and you're going to tell me someone running around with a a lightning bolt dagger is more intimidating than Zoom. And then Todd Halbin gets in in the story. The backstory that we have created and sort of what he's doing this year is completely different too. He's more of a blue collar meta -thuman. Now don't get me wrong guys, I really am looking forward to this villain, but to come out and say you're going to compare him to Zoom after Savitar, after the Thinker, I really can't see this villain being any more than a kind of sub-villain, like a Dr. Alchemy if you like. I mean the fact that he can take your powers away, okay fair enough, but literally Iris became the Flash during last season. He's mysterious, we don't know who he is, literally you didn't know who Reverse Flash was, you didn't know who Zoom was even though like Zoom was literally next to the whole season you didn't know who savitar was at first and obviously the thinker was the fastest one in order for you to kind of put team flash to figure out who he was but realistically all these points are invalid because they've all been done before so more details have come out about cicada i mean i'm more interested about him the fact that they're comparing him to zoom mean is me, means to me that they're going to go back to season one season two hardcore villains rather than getting onto the soft side because people thought it was too dark and edgy it's nowhere near as edgy as arrow it's not even half as edgy, edgy as arrow but i do feel like this season has to be strong because the last two seasons have been pretty weak from a story telling point so i just feel like it's a massive pr stunt let's chunk out loads of information about the big bad i mean if the big bad was going to be that good do you really have to give away that much information before the season comes out so guys i will link the interview with entertainment weekly in the comment box down below so you can give it a read for yourself are you hyped for this season are you looking forward to season do you think cicada can live up to zoom let me know what you think the connection between Cicada and Nora Allen actually is. Do you think this is a futuristic villain? Because we've seen him a handful of times in the trailer. We've seen him in the Comic-Con trailer. We've seen him in the most recent trailer. We've seen shadows of him, but we've not actually seen his face properly. We've seen his face like come at you crazy blurry, but we haven't actually seen him. And you know the Flash seasons generally go by how good is the villain makes the overall villain. Reverse Flash was good. Zoom was good. That's why everyone says season one and two were awesome. Flash season three, Savage I still liked it, but the villain wasn't the strongest. 
The Flash season four, The Thinker. I mean, I still like the season, but The Thinker came like redundant. He essentially became the Thanos of the the kind of DC TV world, I guess you could say. So it's going to be very interesting and I will be doing more Flash videos. Now we are getting more factual information from quotes, from interviews, from trailers, from the actual companies and people that release information rather than making theories every single day. So I don't like to do that with The Flash anymore because there's not enough context to do that. So anyway, guys, please support the channel by liking, subscribing, sharing and commenting all your thoughts about the next season in the comment box down below and i will catch you in another video very soon catch ya later